Hey everybody, Ron here with Solo Operative Games. So back at my table, continuing our Welcome to the Moon playthrough campaign. We are in Mission 5, and this is our first three-star scenario. So exciting. Um, we have decided to up the ante, and we're going to move up to level 6 on Astra, playing against Stephanie here. You can see that she really loves robots, and she doesn't really care for uh, electricity. So let's try to outscore her. Uh, last time we ended up on chapter 74, so we'll go to the book and start reading. It says, We have perfectly exploited the Alpha, Alpha Industrial Complex. The Human Alliance has therefore decided to entrust us with the construction of the capital seat of the moon. Uh, before you carry on, read the specific rules of Adventure 5 and go to 103. All right, well, I've read the rules. 103. Official Statement of the Human Alliance. As the domes were starting to appear on the moon, and the general evacuation was finally in progress, our eyes were filled with terror. We saw, in the dark sky of the moon, the Earth being destroyed by an asteroid that seemed to be coming from another world. The prediction of this disaster has now become a horrible reality. Of course we had saved a number of human lives, and enough genetic material to ensure the future of humankind we have left so many lives behind. I guess you all have heard the statement from the Human Alliance. We knew that was going to happen. There's no time for despair. We have work to do, and we have to build this little village fast, because it has already been sold off plan. I don't really know where to start. Wow. I did not see that coming. I did not know we were rebuilding on the moon because Earth was about to be destroyed. Did I miss that in the story somewhere? I tend to tune out sometimes when I'm reading the story, but that's okay. Uh, so we have two options here. Anyway, we have no choice. Everything must be ready. Go to 149. Or let's focus on the essentials so this city is habitable. Um, let's go with everything must be ready. So we're going to go 149. I don't want to focus on essentials. Come on. 149 says, The mission is clear. We must... The city must be finished from beginning to end. Whatever that means. Oh no, whatever that means. <laughs> Here are your mission orders. Play Adventure 5 with mission cards 88, 90, and 93. All right, so 88 is this one, which means we have to finish a whole tower. 90 is this one. We want uh, three of our research station to have plants and uh, two plants and waters circled. And 93 is this one. We want to use the planning action at least four times. All right, that's going to make it interesting. All right, at the end of the game, let's do it. It says if someone has, uh, one player has three completely numbered skyscrapers. All right, so we want to try, if possible, to number three of our skyscrapers here. And that is 149, let me show right down here. Okay, so how this one works is we have a dome across the top, and then we have some skyscrapers, and then we have this research tower. Um, we have to put our first numbers either at ground level or the first sub-level. And then we build up or we build down from there. And you must build adjacent, so you can't go here and then up there. You have to build up or you build down. Um, when you build, if there is a plant or water action that you're doing with it, you go horizontal and circle one of those. And you can see we want at least two of those circled for three of the levels. If we get all the way up to the top, before Astra gets an A, B, or C, then we circle the big number or all the way to the bottom, big number. Um, but when Astra gets an A, B, or C, we have to cross off one of the big numbers. Uh, if we get the achievements, we can circle the star on A, B, or C, and we can actually make them worth more. So normally, they're only worth eight for the achieving at first and four for getting at second. But if we use energy actions to cross off some of the lines, we can make that uh, thing worth up to 18 points if we get it first. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and then this one is how many rows you have. One circled, two circled, all three circled. And again, you can make those worth more with energy. This one is for the total of the circled values when you complete uh, a skyscraper, the top or the bottom section. Every time you use the astronaut, remember you can uh, add up to two or subtract up to two. We're going to mark those off. Whoever has the most is going to lose 10 points unless they have upgraded it. And you can see they can upgrade all the way to 30. And then whoever has second most... It's up to 10. If you, oh, the dome action is used the robot action. 
and you can use, you can see here, the ones that have one dot, which are these ones, hard to see probably, but they have to use an odd number, and the ones with two dots have to use an even number, and you have to start at the ground level and work your way up across from either side. If you don't finish it, you lose six points per segment that is not uh, complete, but you can reduce that to only two. Uh, we get system errors the same way, and if we use the planning action, we're going to put an X in a tower, but we also have to split one of our dome sections in two, and so now we have to build it twice. Have to what score Astra, and we get three stars. Looks like we get two stars if we get second, so I guess we're not in a <laughs> huge hurry to beat her, but let's get going. Okay, so first up we have seven, four and five. There's some string on my table. Go away. Okay, what do we want to start off with? That's, um, I guess seven's in the middle, so maybe one of these two here, and we can build up for there. Um, we all, would also start maybe with a five, um, and work our way down and up from a five. Uh, if we did the five, then we're getting a water or an astronaut. What I think what I focus on, I'm not, I'm not really focused on water and energy. I don't think that works. We only need two or three towers. But I want to build whole towers and I want to put planning actions in, which means I'm going to need a lot of robots. Uh, as far as what I'm upgrading for energy, probably the goals, because I, I like to finish the goals first. And then also, uh, if I build the whole dome, I don't even care about that column. Uh, but using astronauts, we can get lots of points here. So uh, if we look at Stephanie, we want to give her energy, which kind of sucks. That's hard to upgrade our things. Um, I don't want to give her any robots at all, which is fine because I'm going to plan on building the whole dome. Uh, but then we could give her planning actions. Well, any, anything else is, is pretty equal. Um, as far as how we get our bonuses to deny her cards is we have to get to the top or the bottom. So maybe just rushing the bottom of one of these small ones uh, is not a bad idea. So we could just go with a four right here. And let's do a water, just get this water done, the, this achievement done really quick. So we did that and we gave her a power card, perfect, okay. And I'll just stick these off the side. All right, next we have a 12, a 14, and a 12. I was afraid of this. Um, <laughs> but we could use the robot to bring this down maybe to a 10. Uh, well, actually we don't, we have to use this. Sorry, that was a spaceman, we have to use this robot. So if we're going to go 12 and a robot, um, let's go here with a 12, or do I want to put it at the bottom, going down. Let's go up, because again, we want to rush these to, so we can not, or prevent Stephanie from getting cards. And then it's a robot and it was a 12, so that is even, so we have to do this one. So now if we want to do this another robot, it has to be an odd number. Um, and so that was... What do I want to give her? The spaceman or the power? And power is less points, but I need some of those in my deck. <laughs> uh, let's just start with power. All right, so we have a nine, an eight, and a five. Okay. Uh, not the greatest numbers if we're trying to rush. I need bigger than 12 or lower than four. Uh, but we could do a five here, and that's an odd one. That's great. So let's do a five. And we'll do an odd numbered robot. And she gets some water. Okay. Now we've got a six, an 11, and a 15. Okay, that's not greatest. Um, so I go work on that one or work on this one with the six or the 11. 15 is not really in my wheelhouse. Um, so let's, let's get. An oh, if we put an 11 here with, oh, that doesn't, that's power. I was going to think we could get another tree here, but, um, okay. Let's try the 11 here, and we're going to mix that with power either way. I want to get a 15 into my deck, so I'm going to do 11 with power and give her this one. Uh, what do I want to upgrade? Let's upgrade this first level of points, I think. Um, yeah, let's do that one, okay? All right, seven, two, and eight. All right, if I put a two here, I'm gonna have to have a one there. Uh, but we could do a planning action and get an X and finish that one off. 
So let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to be a plant no matter what it looks like. So we could just go on one of these levels and get another plant. But I think we're okay to put a two here. And circle plant. What would I rather give Stephanie here? I'll give her, I know, I have to take the two. I'll keep the eight, give her the seven. Okay. All right, four, five, six. There is a planning action here, so we could do that. Uh, that's, I think that's great. So let's do six with a planning. Put the six here. Then we will do planning action for an X. And then we have to divide one of the domes. I'm gonna divide one of the odd domes, I guess. Okay, so that's split in half. Um, but now we have finished this tower, so we get a six there, and we get one of these. Okay, cool. Five, seven, and seven. Okay, we just keep going up this tower. That sounds pretty good. Uh, if we do seven with a robot, uh, we could give her a leaf so we can keep some power in there. So seven here. That is an odd number, so I'll have to do this one. Okay. And I'm okay giving her the four points. What I really need to avoid is if there's ever a robot and I can't do like the odd or even or something, then I'd probably use that. And as long as we use them by the end, we're okay. Three, 13, 13 is great. Can we use it with something? 13, yes. 13 power. So we'll put a 13 here. And let's just keep chugging along with these. Okay. That's a spaceman for her. So she's got one of those as far as whoever has the lead here. All right, two, four, and 14. Hey, that is perfect. 14 with an even robot? Sure. All right, so 14 here, even, and then we get six. So we'll circle another one of those. Uh, so we did these two, and we give her that one. Just keep giving her four points though. All right. All odd numbers, that's perfect, because we, oh, wow, I think I have to take these two, or it gives her six points, or I could just use one of my things if I really want to keep the power. I think I will do that. Let's do this, and we will cross off one of these to just throw this out of the game. Um, so do I want, yeah, I want 11 with a robot, or I could do nine with a power, but I'd rather, yeah, I think I'd rather get this. Problem is, where do I put it? If I stick the 11 here, I've got 12, 13, 14, I've got one. But we have to we have to do four X's. So we know we're gonna do some X's. So yeah, let's do 11. And let's do the second half of this odd dome. All right, eight, five, and 13. There is a planning action, but we have to give her a robot to do it. No, we don't. We can cross off another one of those. Um, so, do we go with eight with the planning? I think that's okay. So, I'm going to stick an eight here. And I want these 25 points. So, I'm actually going to do the planning here. And then I need to cross off that second one to avoid giving her this five. Um, and I need to cross or uh, cut a dome in half. So, let's cut the even dome in half this time. Okay, so we've used two planning actions on our way to that one, and we're almost full a whole tower, so we're on our way to that one too. All right, a one, a six, and a nine. Nine is perfect. Oh crap, that's bad, bad news here. Um, because we'd have to give her a robot if we used that. So I think we use these two and give her that one. Um, do I want to use a one or a six? I don't really have a place to put a one, so I think I have to stick a six, like here. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, and that is an even number, so that crosses off that half. The problem is we're gonna get too many robots in our final deck is my, pro my worry. 
and we're gonna have the dome finished. Once we finish the dome, we don't want any more robots. This could get dicey. Uh, so maybe we hold off on some of those. Okay, we got a lot more planning actions here. Um, a three, a six, or an eight. Let's go, I wanna go, no, I don't wanna go three, two, one. So I think I put an eight here. And then we'll go eight with planning. So we give her water, it's five, that's not too bad. So with planning, we'll do another X here and we'll cut, um, I guess we cut this one in half now. All right, that's three X's, getting close on that. All right, 11, 11, and 10. I guess we're going with one of those numbers. Uh, 11's a, no, actually I could finish off with a 10 or 11 up there. Um, what do we want to give her? We, I would rather get some power maybe to upgrade something. So yeah, let's do the 11 here, which is just the 25 points, sweet. And then we use the power to make these upgraded better. Give her the plant. Okay, yep, that's what we did. 12, 9, and 4. 12 is great on that tower. Um, oh, we completed a whole thing here. So we completed Objective A. Uh, so we circle the star on Objective A. Okay, and I guess we can flip that one over now, saying it's accomplished. Um, now we're close on B, we are real close on C. And we could do it right now, actually, if we use this with something. So a four or a nine, sure. So let's get a, oh, and we also got another uh, Astro bonus when we got that 25. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna accomplish C real quick with either a four or a nine. Let's stick the nine here. And then, so we're giving her this one. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Uh, and then planning, where do we want to get up next? Uh, I guess let's just rush this one. And we're gonna have to cut this one in half now. <laughs> well, I guess there, uh, yeah, we're gonna have plenty of need for robots at the end. Okay, that is now four X's, right? One, two, three, four. So C is complete. We got, we were first to do it. So I think I was correct in, uh, in, in putting our energy into here because we're gonna accomplish these pretty easily. We haven't even finished the, the first run through the deck uh, or seen any of the ABCs yet. All right, six. 10 and seven, uh, we can't go here. We could put a 10 here. We could put a 10 here below our 11s. Um, that would be an even with a robot, which we do have an even thing we need. Um, other option, or I guess we're gonna have a spaceman either way. We want to use a spaceman to bump this like to a 12, but then I, uh, okay, that's what we'll do. All right, so I'm going to cross off this third Astra to take this one out of the game. And then I'm gonna take the 10 and bump it by two to a 12 and cross off a spaceman. Okay. Astronaut, I don't know, I call him spaceman. One, 10 and nine. Okay, so we got some more tens, um, and then we're gonna use power with that. Okay, I think I like that. Let's go then up this track. Oh yeah, we have lots of tens, but I think I'd rather get this one first. That's 20 points. Okay, so then we can, I think keep the one and give him this one. Um, where do we wanna do power? Definitely here. Now we're up 18 points per achievement. That is great. Okay, 10, three, and eight. This guy likes to write up here. Um, we want those tens, they're all pretty good. We don't really need to use these anymore other than, you know, they help us, but... Uh, oh, it did say once you have 
cut every single dome piece in half that's not built, then you can use uh, the planning actions without worry about cutting a dome again. So maybe we do want to just keep cutting the dome up. Um, I think we can finish it by the end. <laughs> but yeah, one more planning action, then all of our other planning actions are just free. Other than the loss of being able to do something else. Um, can we get a water on one of these yeah a 10 with a water that's not bad okay let's do that one then a 10 here water here so that's two of the symbols so that accomplishes one of that all right well so much for the planning action strategy okay we do have a c here so let's leave that out uh what that means is we need to cross off one of the towers bonuses i think i'll cross off this 15 here since we really haven't even started on that sub cave whatever this one is so that gets in there okay and that we'll do that every single time a b and c so no skips on that but we don't have to worry about this one until the second time we see it 8, 8, and 13. A 13 is great. We want with a spaceman or a leaf. Um, I don't think I really want a leaf because I've completely filled up this row and we don't have any. Um, I could get a leaf here. I could do 8 with a leaf here and then that's 2. 8, 7, yeah, maybe. Or do I want to just go up here for now? Um... Or we want to get spacemen. So what if we did the 13 down to an 11? Let's do that. So 13 spaceman goes down to an 11. So we cross off that. Okay. We're going to need to use some power here because now we have the majority of the astronauts. We're getting negative 10 points. We want to at least, yeah, make this up. That's probably where we spend all the rest of our energy. So we cut both of those. Gave him a plant. Her, sorry. All right. 15, 9... And Astra A. So we have to cross off another one. Oh, man. Um, what are we less likely to get? This 20? Or do we want to just take this complete thing out? Where am I going to put a 15, though? I'm not. Okay. Probably go in here. So, yeah, let's just cross off this whole tower. We still have Astra B, and it's going to be the next three cards here. Uh, we have a 15, a 9, and a 6. So put a 9 here, maybe. What do we get with it? Water or a odd dome. I think that works. So a 9 with a robot on an odd. Give her water. That's a little troubling. All right, now last one. We've got Astra B. So we're going to cross off one more. Um... I guess, I mean, we're two away from getting 10, two away from getting 20, and three away getting 20. So I think I'd rather cross off this 10. Okay. What do we want to do with these? A 10, a 10, or a 12? Definitely put a 12 up here. Uh, and then we could do planning? Yes, 12 planning. Oh no, I can't give her a robot, so it's 12 robot. That's even. Okay, that works. So 12 and an even dome. All right, that is our first time through the deck. So let's give it a shuffle. Um, I think I'm doing good with placement. It's like, I'm not really sure how points are going. Um, we haven't had to give her a robot yet. Um, and we've got a lot of power, mostly leaves, but I think that was our plan. Okay, well, let's do it one more time. All right, let's begin the second time through the deck. We have a 15, an 8, and an 11. Um, if we don't want to give her a robot, that's a f an odd tower. And that's I think that's perfect. So we'll go here, 15. That completes the tower, which gives us another Astro bonus. And that was an odd dome. So now we're using planning actions without any uh, negative effect. 
10, two, and four. Okay, um, if I give her that one, that's her second spaceman. So maybe we wanna use these. Do we have a good spot for a two or a four? We could put a four on this one, although we've already lost out on that bonus. Um, a two, we did not really great spots for. I'm actually, I might be in trouble because if it's high, this has to be lower than a nine. This has to be lower than 11. So 10 or lower I'm good on, but anything higher than a 10, I've only got two spots left. <laughs> okay, this could be trouble. We might hit some system errors. Um, two and a four. I really, I mean, I could adjust this two up to a four with a spaceman. Okay, that's, that's actually probably better then. So we'll do this as a four, but that was really the two adjusted up. So we'll use the astronaut there. Okay. So planning action, maybe we want to do these two then. Uh, a 10, can I fit a 10? No, we said we couldn't fit any 10s. Um, no, I can fit a 10. I can fit a 10 right there, and then I've got a planning action. So... Yes, so we'll put it, oh, then I can't get that plant. Dang it. How am I gonna do this achievement then if I do this? Cause I don't have anything else circled. That's like the last one. Okay, uh, then we could do a 13 water. Cause I can give her another spaceman cause I'm at three and she'll have two. So we could do a 13 with a planning action. Let's do that. Okay, oh, that's one of my, I don't wanna get one of my high numbers unless I have to, right? Oh, bummer. Um, I still have these three that could get two plants in water, but I've given her so many plants, I'm not sure how many are left in my deck. We might not be able to do this one. I mean, because it's 18 points <laughs> if we don't do it. Uh, that's tough. Do I, do I go 18 or risk giving up a five points on a system error, right? It's like, could we plan this down? No, it would go up to 15 or down to an 11. So I think we just go 10 with a planning. So 10 here, and then we put an X. Where do we put the X? I want it here, but that's like another row that I can possibly get this. I think we've just given up on that achievement by doing this. Okay, so we're putting an X here. Uh, we can't split the dome, so we don't have to worry about that. Give her some water. Please, some low numbers every time. All right, 13, six, and 10. Um, we can do an even dome. I think that sounds good. That gives her one of these, that's fine. So we can put a six right here and complete an even dome. We have two more sections, one odd, one even. She's not now two astronauts. Uh, we do need some power at some point though. Um, if we want this, no, we have, a, we have a way we can get rid of that if we want. So 14 power. And that leaves only a 15 of stuff greater than a 9. I think I'd rather have the 8. 8 of power and give her the 14. I think that's better. Or 8 of leafs. Gives me 4 points. But I think 8 of power is better. That gives me 10. All right. 8 with the power. Oops, too many. Five, 12, and six. So if I give her an astronaut no longer in first, but that only gives from, actually gives me two points if she wins. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, I think the five is our option here. Um, 
to finish off this tower before she draws another A, B, or C. So we'll do that. Put a five here. And we technically could have manipulated it, so let's just do a manipulation down to a four. <laughs> I mean, because you don't have to, you can just use it. So I'll take these two and give her that one. Okay, that gives us 20 here. Can't even see that. Okay, and it gives us another one of these. So we've got two bonuses still to use. So we should probably use those on water. Anything that's not power, I guess, is fine. The game could end really quickly if we start drawing a lot of high cards. Um, okay, so a two or one finishes this one. A nine, we cannot manipulate it. Actually, a nine will not play. Because we have to be higher than a 12, lower than a seven. Or lower than an eight, I guess. So the nine's right out. Um, so I think we use the two and get our even robot. Sure. So a two here gets us a five. And now we've completed three, so that'll be it for the achievement as far as the, uh, the other thing goes. Cool. Um, and then we were going to use an even dome. I don't like that I drew. Let's just go ahead and not give her this plant. Sure. Yuck. Yuck. And that's okay. All right. Got saved by the seven. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can see uh, system errors coming quite quickly. Um, wow. Do we use a seven with a plant, which will give us two points? Power, which would give us two points, maybe 10 if we get another spaceman. Um, and a one point there. I think we take seven power. Or do we just give her the two? So seven leaf, sure, whatever. Seven leaf. All right, that's a robot. And wow, we are getting to where we are not going to be able to play many. Um, five, that finishes our dome, so let's do that. So a five here, it's an odd, so our dome is now complete. And we just have to hope for planning actions. All right, so she drew a C. But I think all of the bonuses have been crossed off. So nothing happens there other than this is now out, but we're, we've already done that one. Cool. All right, we did draw one. That's not bad. And we could do a planning action. And then we just need something higher than a 12 to end the game. So let's do that. So we're putting a one here. And then we're going to put an X there. And we can't split the dome. And then we will cross off that to get rid of this card. All right. Last action, just anything higher than a 12. Anything higher than a 12. Any. <laughs> All right, so that will be a system error, which costs us five points. Um, and then we just give her the weakest, which will be this one. Ah, oh, come on, something higher than a 12 to end this. No, there we go, 14. Perfect. And we have to go, even though it does nothing for us, I think. Um, let's see. I need to rule, read the rule on the astronaut. That might make a difference. Is it strictly higher or tied? Um, those who have crossed off the most, that is plural. Um, but then it says in solo mode. Uh, let's see. If the number of crossed off astronauts is higher than or equal to, so we are equal to, so crossing off this is 10 points and only giving her six, where doing this is worthless and giving her two. So it's a four to six point swing to do this. So I will use 14 power. 14 there gives me five points. And I actually got these seven and even grab. Sweet, and then we put uh, the power here and give her 
one robot. I think we accidentally crossed off one on a leaf. Yeah, we did take a leaf out that we should have waited, but oh well. That is the end. We have finished our skyscrapers. Um, cool. Let's score our points. Um, so as far as A, B, and C, we did two of them, A and C, and that gives us 18 times 2 is what, 36? Okay. How many ones? We got two of these times two points is four, and we got one of them with two for five points. <laughs> That's not a lot. Here's where our points are going to cash out. Uh, so we have a 6, a 20, a 25, not really, there's not much room here, and a 5. On the bottom it's a 20, a 5, a 6, and a 7. Yeah, I can't really fit these. Um, so let's just add these up. That's 45, 51, 56, 76, 81, six, um, 87 plus 7 is 94. Ah, that was nice. Okay. Then we had three robots. She had three, or three astronauts. She has her astronauts. We tied, so we're going to get those 10 points here. And then we, our dome is complete. So this is zero times six is zero. And we have one system error, so minus five. Our final score then is going to be 36, 40, 45, uh, plus 90 is 139, plus 10, 149, minus five is 144. Please comment below if I did my math wrong, but I think we're good there. Let's get Astra's card now down here. She has one robot. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight energy. Here's the big one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine plants. Water, one, two, three, four, five. We know it's already three astronauts and two plantings. All right, so this is six points here, 16 here, 36 here, 25, 12, and eight for that card. And then she gets 10 just for the mission plus her level, which is six times two is 12 more. All right, so 6 plus 16 is 22, plus 36 is 58, plus 25 is 83. Hold on, I got messed up. <laughs> 22, 58, 83, yep, that's right. 95, uh, 103, 123, 134 is what I get for her final score. Again, if I goofed up on the math, let me know in the comments. Uh, but that being the score, 144 to 134, that's a carrying error away, so maybe I should uh, get my calculator out. The problem is my calculator is my phone, which is my camera. Um, so let's just do it the other way. 12, 22, 30, 42, 67, 103, uh, 119, now I got a totally different number. <laughs> oh my goodness, one more time. 22, 30, 42, 67, uh, 103, plus 22 is 125. Wow, that was way off. Can I get that number the other way? 22, 58, 83, 95, 103, plus 22. Yeah, 125. How did, how did I get that first number? I don't know. But 125, so we actually whooped her.
Um, all I needed was these two, because that was 130 points right there, just getting all the bonuses and the two achieves that I did. So, sweet. I focused on the right things. I'm happy about that. We win. We get three stars. I need a pen. Well, I'll just put it in there. So, three stars for today. Move on to the next one, which is called The Virus. Should we do a sneak peek of this? Wow. All right. Something called the virus is heading for us, guys. And that will be the next round. Um, oh, we should we were supposed to read the book. 149. Let's go do that before we end. While I'm getting there, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and turn the notification bell on to be notified when I publish a video. At the end of the game, if one player has completely numbered three subs things, I did all four, go to 47. Captain Takei, the last building is complete. Great, the city is ready. Look around all these people under our dome. You have done quite a feat. We are now at the beginning of a new era. Humankind is saved, thanks to you. Assign the, note, assign the stars, save the game on the dashboard, then resume the campaign from here. And then we'll go to 122. So we'll save it on 47 and come back next time for the virus. Thanks, guys. See you later.